Hi, this is Congressman Joe Courtney. One year ago, the Affordable Care Act was signed into law. You're about to hear from some individuals who today are directly benefiting from that legislation. Young people, old people, small businesses. Uh, let's listen. Uh, a year or so ago, my sister started to get really sick. She was just about to graduate from college when she started to get uh, this strange pain in her feet and in her legs. She started seeing doctors, but they didn't know what to do. They gave her painkillers, but the drugs didn't work. Finally, the hospital brought in a specialist who recognized this as an extremely rare uh, nerve disorder and started her on a treatment right away. Every month she has to go into the hospital for three days in a row to get hours of, of a, an infusion. Each of these infusions is distilled from the donation of 1,000 blood donors and each one costs $20,000. Under the old health care laws, two, three years ago, it's likely that she wouldn't be covered anymore. But because of the new reforms, she can stay on my family's insurance plan until she's 26 years old. And as a new college graduate, that's, that's incredible for her. I was born with hemophilia, which is a bleeding disorder. Um, and so this new health care reform really makes a big difference in my life, as well as the lives of many others living with other chronic illnesses. Um, health care reform act really helps um, people like me um, in terms of the elimination of lifetime caps. A, lot of times a lifetime cap is around a million dollars. And um, my own medicine can cost anywhere from 300000 to $500,000 a year. Um, so there's no way I could possibly uh, afford to pay that on my own. Um, and so I, I can very easily hit that cap. Since the passage of the law last year, uh, we have had a, a repeat applicant who we've had to help with um, insurance premiums be directly impacted. A few years ago he was hospitalized um, for a long period of time and in the midst of the hospitalization he was dropped from his wife's group insurance policy because he had maximized the um, major medical benefit. He was able to buy an insurance policy through his um, state's um, the company that offers uh, insurance to people in his situation and um, but the premiums were you know, a huge financial burden, over $600 a month just for the premiums. Um, he will be able to be reinstated on his wife's group insurance policy as of June 2011. I have because plenty of Medicare patients who can get annual physicals now, okay. which I've seen a lot of them for their annual physicals, made sure that they've had a lot of their preventative screening tests done that they weren't doing before, um, and that's been amazing for them. Um, and I think just the amount of people I see every single day with no insurance is staggering and the amount of people that I see who don't get their medical care because they have no insurance um, and then they come in very late with illnesses that could have been treated a lot sooner and should have been treated a lot and sooner. As a small business it would be very easy for me to not provide medical coverage. As a physician I don't feel like I can do that. It, I can't have my own employees not with medical insurance. So um, the amount I pay for the four employees and their spouses is a lot um, and impacts my small business way more than m the only other expense that's bigger than that is my payroll. Um, and after payroll, it's health insurance. Uh, and this new Obamacare gives a tax credit to small businesses is about $10,000 this year in a tax credit that I'll get. It prevents abuses by the health insurance company so that they can't cancel your insurance policy just because you became ill. And they have to pay you for your whole insurance costs over your lifetime. And it prevents them from refusing to enroll your children in your health insurance policy just because they have a chronic illness and it allows you to keep your children enrolled until they're 26. It requires insurance companies to pay more of your premium dollar for health care costs and less for executive salaries, marketing, and administration. For small businesses, it provides tax credits so that they can finally afford to provide health insurance for their workers. 
and for seniors, it guarantees your traditional Medicare benefits while providing new ones, like an annual physical, and ends cost sharing for preventive services. And it provides rebates and discounts for prescription drugs if you reach that infamous donut hole. And over time, it'll actually plug that hole.